beauties, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today and today is Foundation Friday. This morning I ran to Sephora and I got the new Cover FX Foundation. This is their brand new foundation and uh, we're going to try it on today and do a full review and wear test. Now the one I got right here, cute little plastic container. There is 1.18 fluid ounces. Okay, got that 0.18 extra than most foundations. I respect that. This is their Power Play foundation and it's supposed to pretty much be perfect. According to the box, it says it's supposed to be long wearing liquid foundation, um, medium to full coverage, which is great. It's supposed to give you a breathable weightless finish with ultra fine powders that control shine and help visibly blur imperfections all day which I will definitely be testing, without dulling or drying complexion. Sounds good to me. Now I am someone with very oily skin and I usually get things that are mattifying or have matte in the name. This one doesn't, but as you can see, I am getting a very nice matte finish. But when I picked it up, I decided to keep it in the Cover FX family and I also got the matching primer. So let's get down to the nitty gritty, shall we? I am the color G70, and there's 40 shades to choose from. So there's a pretty good shade range going on. They do break the colors down from a pink undertone, neutral undertone, or golden undertone. So if it says G70, like me, the G stands for golden. These bad boys are pretty expensive though. Let's pull out the good old receipt, shall we? And um, the foundation was $44 and the mattifying primer was $38. So yeah, I spent a pretty penny this morning. The Cover FX foundation is also paraben, fragrance, gluten, mineral oil, and talic free, and it's vegan. So without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied both the primer and the foundation to my face. So let's get started. We're gonna be using the items straight out the bag. I got these from Sephora literally this morning. My face is already moisturized, but I did pick up the Cover Fix Primer. So let's go ahead and try this for the first time. I'm really excited to try the Cover Fix Primer because it's supposed to be a mattifying primer with anti-acne treatment, which is obviously what I need. And it has salicylic acid in it, it has 1%. So that's kind of cool to be killing two birds with one stone. If you can keep me matte and clear my acne at the same time, I'm for it. Ooh, so it does come out in a clear gel type consistency. Oh, I like that. Ooh, oh yeah. It goes on really smooth. Oh, I like it. Get a little bit more. But today I'm gonna to be trying something a little bit different. I'm gonna be doing one side of my face with a beauty blender and the other side with a brush. So let's go ahead and try the brush first. It does have a little squeeze nozzle. And I'm gonna squeeze just a little bit on my brush. And let's go ahead and start. Oh. It's not as thick as I thought it was gonna be. Pretty good coverage. It's kind of more watery than I expected. You definitely can get a sheer coverage if you want that, but it says it's supposed to be buildable. And I will be building today, best believe. Let me go ahead to the Beauty Blender side, see how this does. Gonna be putting some right on there. The squeeze is kind of nice. It's interesting. Hmm, I think you get more full coverage when you use a Beauty Blender, because you can kind of pack it on there. I think I must stick with the Beauty Blender. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more on the Beauty Blender to get some more coverage. Doesn't really have a smell, so that's good. All right, I think I'm gonna stop here. I am getting some good coverage. This is supposed to be for medium to full coverage. I think I'm getting like medium. When I think full, I think of like extreme, I can't even see your pores full. But this is doing a good job. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my face. And we're back. So right now, I'm very happy with the final application. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey, so it does have that weightless finish that I talked about. It's not claiming to be matte, 
but I was able to get a matte finish with the powder and you know, maybe this primer is working. I think the shade range is working very well. And another cool thing about Cover FX is that they do have a shade match guarantee. So if you get the wrong color or you're just not happy with the shade range, you actually can return or exchange it. Now, according to the Cover FX website, this is supposed to be sweat proof, waterproof, transfer proof, and provide an all day wear. Well, Cover FX, that's what we're gonna be testing today. So it is currently 2 p.m. I will come back at the end of the day and I'm gonna show you exactly how well, or maybe not so well, this foundation does throughout the day. So, I'll be back. And we're back, it is currently 11.30 on the dot. That means I've had on this foundation for a total of nine and a half hours. So this foundation did claim to last all day. Nine hours is definitely a full day. That's your whole eight hour work shift plus your drive home. So what you're seeing now is like worst case scenario. I was outside in the cold for a while. I was in a hot area for a while. Literally put this makeup through a very full day. And this is where I am. So I am a very oily girl anyways, but this is where we are. I think under these lights, like you're literally seeing every shine on my face. I don't think it looked as bad in like person in a normal mirror, but without further ado, what I like to do is grab my oil absorbing sheets and we'll just see how oily I really am. So take a good look, okay? Oil after nine and a half hours. Now I'm going to blot my face. If you don't have these blotting sheets in your life, what are you doing? Go get them today. And this is just supposed to pick up the oil and leave the actual foundation. It says it's transfer proof, so there really shouldn't be too much makeup coming off. So here is all the oil that came off of my skin. Some of the foundation is on here, but it's not too bad. It probably lifted with the oil. But now if I take a good look at myself, I look pretty mad again. So looking at it now, I am actually very satisfied with how I look. On a normal day, I would not wait over nine hours to blot my skin. So as long as I could blot and get back to a matte finish, I'm going to be happy with it. I do think I still have my coverage. I got a little bit off of my nose, which kind of just happens. But I think it looks really good. So this is my very first impressions, the first time I've ever worn this. What I do want to start doing is wearing this like every day after my foundation Fridays so I can keep up with you guys. So maybe trying with a different primer, maybe try the primer on its own with another foundation. Just really see how it works over time. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. I might do an Instagram Live, I might put it in my story. But remind me on Saturday to wear this foundation again and give you guys another update. But for right now, I'm happy with this purchase. I know these just came out, but if any of you have tried them already, please leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts and your skin type. You can get both of these at either Sephora or Ulta. If you enjoy my Foundation Fridays, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, foundation reviews on Friday and curly hair videos on Sunday. So hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. I'll see you guys on Sunday. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee today.